So in real life, on the phone, the writing is all mirrored. When I put this in front of the teleprompter, and you can see that the mirror of writing is reflected in the glass. So it reads the right way round. I can't say that, <laughs> right way round. <laughs> Under here is the tripod thread and there's a metal, oh, oh. This is the Prom Store or Ambitsful mini teleprompter. It's a prompter that you can clip onto the lens of your DSLR camera, or as you'll see with my experiments, maybe you can also clip it onto a Sony ZV-1 camera or even a Canon G7X Mark II or Mark III. I'll be showing you as much of this teleprompter as possible to show you how it works, how it fixes to the camera, and what kind of teleprompter apps you can use with the supplied remote control. This is how the Ambitful mini teleprompter arrives. Let's see what's inside the box. <gasps> Look at this. If I told myself when I was a child that I would be unboxing an actual autocue, I think I would have been very excited. <laughs> and it's like a matte plastic if I give it a flick. So it sounds less than premium, but it, it looks pretty good in real life. And it feels really, really light. Under here is the tripod thread and there's a metal. Oh, oh. Okay, so that's how it, <laughs> it unscrews. I didn't know if it was like spring loaded and there's a kind of a rubber pad to grip the phone. But I'm really pleased with this. There's a cold shoe mount on the top. You can pause the video if you'd like to look at these the lens adapters to fix your camera to the teleprompter hood, these foam covers if you wanted to film with a phone, and the thing that I'm looking forward to the most, I think, which is the remote control. Four buttons and a joystick, OK button on the top. And it takes two AAA batteries. Now I'm feeling quite brave or possibly incredibly stupid, but I'm gonna put this ring onto my Sony ZV-1 camera. I have a 52 millimeter lens adapter ring, but it's, it's stuck on. I mean, it's literally stuck on with a sticky pad. I, I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway, just in case you were wondering if you can mount a Ambitful teleprompter onto a Sony ZV-1 with just a stuck on lens adapter ring. So I'm, I'm recording on the, the Sony as well before I inevitably smash the thing. You can just slide the hood onto the ring like this. And if I look into the lens, I'm in really harsh daylight here, so <laughs> it's not the best test. We'll take it indoors and, and do this properly in a moment. But I thought it might be more picturesque out here. Now, what I love about this is it actually looks like a TV camera now. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in the 80s and 90s wanting to work in TV, and this, I mean, this really looks like a TV camera now. <laughs> The entire weight of the teleprompter and my chunky case phone, it's all putting the weight on this ring of <laughs> double-sided sticky tape. I think having the rugged phone case is probably a good idea if this suddenly tears off and collapses to the ground. I'm like, sorry, my dog's going nuts, digging a hole. <laughs> if I suddenly fall out of shot, it's because I've fallen into Casper's hole here. So the Ambitful mini teleprompter or Pron Store teleprompter is holding out really well. Let's get it indoors now. So welcome to the Happy Hut. And I found, whoa, nearly dropped it. I found my old Android phone and I put onto this the Parrot teleprompter app. There's a link to that in the description. There are all kinds of free prompter apps. I've got my camera here. Hello, this is what the shot looks like before the prompter hood goes onto the camera. Now the trick is to get the ring to slide into the clip on the back here. Try and get my camera around so you can see what's going on. There, so it clips on like this. And because it's on this round hood clip, you've got to kind of straighten the prompter. And there I am, hello. This is what the picture looks like with the hood on. So to me, this is looking good. But what do you think? Leave a comment down below. If it is so nice to not <laughs> to look at a TV style autocue rather than a tiny lens. So with my Parrot teleprompter app, I'm gonna click on settings and then I'm going to turn on mirror mode and then I'll explain how this works just in case you've not used the uh, autocue before. So in real life on the phone, this is what it looks like. The writing is all mirrored. When I put this in front of the teleprompter, I'll slide this into the phone holder and you can see that the mirror of writing is reflected in the glass. So it reads the right way round. I can't say that, <laughs> right way round. <laughs> I'm gonna straighten the teleprompter. You're now seeing me, 
which is me reading the words. And you can also see what I can see, which is what's coming off the Ambitful teleprompter. The teleprompter also comes with this remote control. And there have been a lot of reviews saying it doesn't work with their particular prompter app, but it seems to be working great with me. So let's bring the camera around so you can literally see what I'm seeing. So rather elegantly, I now have my DJI Osmo Pocket over my shoulder and I can use the remote control to scroll up and down. Now if I zoom in, you can see what I've got on the screen here, this script that comes with the Parrot Teleprompter app. So I'm just gonna read a few lines. The Parrot Teleprompter app is the companion app for the Parrot Teleprompter, the world's most portable and affordable teleprompter. Use the scripts manager to manage your scripts or add and delete new scripts. You can adjust various scroll settings by selecting the gear icon. Wow, it feels really, it feels so much easier to actually deliver to you into the camera lens, down the barrel, rather than what I usually do, which is to try and remember what I'm trying to say, and then I'm sort of eye flicking off to the monitor on the side to see if I'm in focus or <laughs> check that the thing is recording anyway. It is so much easier and more reassuring to have words in front of me and to make my eyeline meet those words. Now this is incredible. I downloaded the Chrome Remote Desktop app and I've linked it to my computer here. And incredibly, it's sending what's happening on Chrome on my computer to my phone. Now, obviously, I need to make the text supersize so I can read that straight off my computer screen and I can scroll it with my mouse while I'm delivering the script. But I still don't have the text as a mirror image. You can see it's back to front. So then I got another Chrome extension, which is called Mirror. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not sure how safe this extension is, but it flips the Chrome tab to be a mirror image. And now you can see that it is completely the right way round on the teleprompter for me. So I can scroll up and down or even view any web page that I like. The other thing that I can do now is to use the Chrome remote desktop to send a Zoom call straight to the teleprompter. And that means that I can see my Zoom call actually in my eyeline right here in front of me. I can maintain eye contact and see all the participants right in front of my camera. So I don't have to look down or pretend to look at them by looking at my lens. Of course, if you want to buy one from Amazon, the links are all in the description and I'll put all the links to the apps there as well and I'll change those if I find any better ones. Good luck with your AutoQ teleprompter Ron Burgundy style reading. Stay classy, San Diego.